Yo, what's good? With it? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Before we jump into this, man, make sure you hit the like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Uh, let's dive into it, man. So we got a full, full pack little schedule, four games today. Make sure you stay tuned for the entirety of the video to get all the predictions. Uh, let's go ahead and without longer ado, let's go ahead and jump into this, man. So first game up for today, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Knicks. Knicks in a 2-1 series lead. Um, as a predicted man, going back home, Knicks, Knicks came out with a ton of energy. Uh, obviously, they fed off the crowd a lot as well. Um, unfortunately for the Cavs, man, I think it kind of helped with the fact that they had one of their worst shooting performances, uh, you know, all season. So that contributed to the Knicks win. But the Knicks came out ready. You know what I mean? Uh, it was a low scoring game, but the Knicks came out ready and they're poised for it. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of emotion that was being shown on the bench of the Cavs. So we'll have to see how they channel that today. You know what I mean? And then obviously, you got to see if the Knicks are to come out and match that same intensity and put on that same kind of performance. But uh, uh, enough of that long win in this, man. Who do we have in this particular prediction for today? I got the Cleveland Cavaliers tying this thing up, man. Um, signing up 2-2. I think Donovan's going to come out with a ton of energy. Uh, obviously, there were, there is there's some uh, strategical standpoints to adjustments to be made, and I think this Cavs team will be able to do that. So I think Donovan's going to show up huge. Darius Garland, hopefully his injury isn't going to hamper him or what his his true status is for, the, for today's game. Uh, definitely going to need more out of Mobley. Uh, Karis LeVert, they're going to need him to show up and show up big. Um, Allen, they're going to need him to definitely protect the rim a little bit better as well. Uh, they're going to need all hands on deck, man. They're going to need this team to step up, man. They need everybody, anybody and everybody that's in that game, they need them to be out there contributing one way or another. Uh, you know what I mean? So for, for the prediction for that one, I got the Cavs winning that time in the series up 2-2. Next up after that, man, we move over to to one of the most intriguing matchups, uh, you know, sitting in the Western Conference. You got the King versus the Warriors. Uh, War or Kings are up 2-1 in the series. Um, man, it's, it's <laughs> uh, one of those things, man, where, um, you know, like, again, the, the, the Warriors got the work cut out for them, you know what I mean? But they've been in this situation before. So uh, with championship pedigree playing at, home at, at, at uh, the Chase Center, I think Steph's going to have another massive performance, man. I think the Kings will come out to be game. Obviously, it's not going to be a blowout. Um, I think it'll be close uh, early on. But I think that the Warriors will be able to edge away and pull, pull away at the end. Uh, I know obviously with Draymond's presence was missed in game three, but they everyone they need again all hands on deck. They need, everyone stepped up and stepped up big and it resulted in a win. They're gonna need to carry that same exact energy going into game four. Uh don't don't you know what I'm saying? Don't let off the gas, don't sit there and give this team any kind of momentum because we've seen with this Kings team, they don't need more. they don't they don't need any any type of handicap or anything like that, man. This team is game. They you know, they're poised and De'Aaron Fox, the the clear evident leader of this team, and they're led by him and he's one of the most clutch Clutch players, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think he actually has the most clutch points and clutch, voted most clutch player in the fourth quarter, you know what I'm saying, and out of the entire NBA. So, so again, you got you definitely got to make sure that you are um, you are keeping an eye on him and, and trying to keep him bottled up as much as you can. So, uh, for the prediction for this one, who do we have winning this one? I got the Warriors winning this game, uh, tying the series up 2-2. Uh, I think they understand that they, if they drop this game and go back to Sacramento, they're you know, coming back to, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Coming back to the Chase Center. So I think they understand the magnitude and importance of this game. So I got Warriors winning this one, man. Next up after that, we got the Celtics versus the Hawks. I know I made a video, and uh, the Hawks must have seen it, because all I said in that video, I made it about 40, 45 seconds to a minute and a half long. And I said, I got the Celtics winning. That's it. Uh, the Hawks must somebody must have got that over to the Hawks, man, because they, they came out blazing, and they didn't let up. Um, so this one's going to be a little different, though, uh, as far as, like, you know, the Celtics got the work cut out for them. But Prediction production again. I got the Celtics winning. Uh, I think they went into Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta did what they had to do, protect home court uh, in Game Three. But I think uh, the Celtics are gonna, you know, say win Game Game Four and then uh, go back home and go ahead and close the series out. Uh, I think it'll be a gentleman sweep for this series. So, um, shouts out to the to the Hawks. You know, say again, protect the home court, do what they need to do. Now they're gonna need to, to replicate that same performance in order for them to have an opportunity to win Game Four. But I see the Celtics being able to make the adjustments, not having a shooting slump like that and being aggressive from the jump. But again, understanding the magnitude of the game and, and not to take games for granted. So I think that was what, what happened last game, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, last game of the night, man, we got the Denver Nuggets versus the Timberwolves. Uh, Denver's up 3-0 in this series. Uh, you know, obviously game four playing at the Timberwolves. I had the Timberwolves pick to win game three, man, but it, it slipped away at the end. They had it within their grasps. Um, now, we all know closeout games are some of the toughest games. Uh, you know, the, the Timberwolves definitely have – it, it's all or nothing at this point. There is no hesitation. There is no no tomorrow is do or die. You know what I mean? It's, it's win or stay home, I guess, in this particular situation. So um, I think they're going to come out guns blazing. You know what I mean? They're going to come out shooting, 
and uh, they're going to leave it all on the floor. You know what I mean? They're going to need a monster performance by Conley, a monster performance by Anthony Edwards, a monster performance by Carl Anthony Towns, uh, Torian Prince, um, Kyle Anderson, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Rudy Gobert, who had, uh, again, one of a solid game, three, which, again, if you can replicate that same production, I'm pretty sure they'll take it. But they, they need their big names to step up and step up big, man. But I feel like they may be uh, definitely outgunned and outmatched, man. I feel like Jamal Murray and um, Nikola Jokic, you know, so that, that one-two punch is probably a little bit too much for them. Obviously, Michael Porter Jr. is right there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Green, old savvy vet, still out there giving people bodies. Um, and, 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 again, man, uh, KCP, Conker, like, they, 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 I mean, uh, Braun, his name is Braun. My apologies. I, I get him and Conker from the Memphis Grizzlies mixed up. But uh, Braun, Braun is out there along with Brown, man. These guys are playing. But um, who do I have winning this in a while? I got, I, got the, uh, I got the Nuggets wrapping it up, man. I got the Nuggets wrapping it up uh, at home. But in, in reality, uh, in my heart, I want to see the Wolves win just to at least get one game up off of them. But something tells me the Nuggets are going to go out there looking to close out and handle business, man, and, and get some much needed rest. But a uh, quick recap for the for the predictions. Again, I got the Cavs beating the Knicks. I have the Warriors beating the Kings. I got the Celtics beating the Hawks. And I got the Nuggets beating the Timberwolves, man. But that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate you stopping through. Make sure you hit the like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And if you wish to support the channel, that information is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. It's also in the description of the video. Again, I appreciate you stopping through, and I'll catch you on another one.